Yo, everybody, welcome back to the number one television show in the history of all of Amsterdam. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, and The Lonesome Crown, all three books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today, I am going to be showing you all of the books that I purchased in the month of December 2022, and I'm going to tell you right now, folks, this is my favorite book haul I've ever done. These, this, this book haul is just extra super spectacular beyond words can describe. <clears throat> and if you've read my books, you know I can describe stuff. I mean, these are big books with a lot of descriptive words. This book haul has just some dope ass stuff in it. And um, I'm excited to show it to you. It's just one of, it's probably the best buying month of books, the best book buying month I've had in, well, since I've done this channel. So in two years. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna finish with the best stuff for last. I'm leaving the best stuff for last, but let's, it's not to say that the stuff that I'm starting with is bad because it's all good, everything is good. It's just there's some super exciting things towards the end that I want to show you. Anyway, let's start with just, um, well, up here. Let's go. Uh, so, yeah, I, I The Miracle of St. Anna. This is a book that I was browsing through the Barnes & Noble. It caught my eye. The cover caught my eye. I had never heard of it or the author. I just opened it up, and I read the first page, and I was like, damn it, I got to finish this story because the first page was Die No Might. And I read this book and reviewed it on the channel. Now, here's the thing. Is some of these books I bought in December, I also read them in December. And I left book reviews for them on my YouTube channel in December. So if, if I do say that I read it before and you want to watch the review of the specific book, all you need to do is type in my last name into the YouTube search bar and then the title of the book right behind my last name in the YouTube search bar, and then um, that video will magically appear upon your um, television uh, screen or computer or phone. Miracle of... So there's one. That's one. We'll put that one here. I also purchased uh, book number seven, six or seven in John Straley's... Uh, let's see. This is the... Um, I forgot the uh, Cecil Younger. The Cecil Younger is the uh, detective, and it's a detective series set up in Sitka, Alaska, or the, in, the, in that area thereabouts. And I bought this book, and so we will, um, uh, you know, so that's uh, gonna get read eventually. I have read and reviewed, I think, book one in this series. I also got Kathleen O'Neill Gear. This is book number three in her, um, I don't know what this series is called. I did read, an, uh, it's the, uh, the, uh, Rewilding Report, and this is actually book number two, so I put that up. Let me see how many books are in the, uh, series here. Oh, well, that's, well, that's bizarre. I already had a copy of it. I must have, this was probably in my November book haul, and then I was at the bookstore and saw a copy of it, and I'm like, okay, maybe, maybe this isn't the uh, grandest book haul I've ever had, because I just realized I purchased this in November, and it was part of my November book haul, forgot that I'd even purchased it, saw it in the bookstore again. And was like, oh, the new Kathleen O'Neill Gear book is out. Have any of you done that before? Okay, so I've got two copies. Bro, oh, what the fuck? Anyway, this one we'll put down here as a reminder to ourselves that we're that we are dumbasses. Let me regroup myself here. And, um, can we, okay, let's carry on. I bought Sierra 6, and I'm looking up at my Mark Greeny Grayman books up on the shelf across the way. I do not see another copy of Sierra 6, so I do think this is the only copy that I've ever purchased. 
I feel like such a dumbass. In the comments, if you've ever done that, if you've ever bought, uh, forgot you bought a book and then bought it again. Cormac McCarthy, okay, so the next, the next group of books, they're all going to be Cormac McCarthy novels because The Road was the only Cormac McCarthy novel I had read all the way through. I had read bits and pieces of Blood Meridian, and then um, I decided I was going to start reading the rest of the Cormac McCarthy stuff. So we've got No Country for Old Men. We have got uh, All the Pretty Horses, and this is looks like it's book one in a trilogy that he's done. I've got book two in the trilogy, uh, Cities of the Plain. I've got book three of the trilogy, The Crossing, so I'm looking forward to that. Those look good. I also got Blood Meridian, which I have tried reading uh, several times and kind of given up on, but we're going to... Uh, everybody tells me this is dope. They're like, hey man, if you love Lonesome Dove, you're going to love this book. And I've tried here and there to read it, and I just couldn't quite get into it, but I'm going to give it another uh, honest uh, go uh, pretty soon. Uh, then we've got... Uh, uh, well, we'll save that one. That's not a Cormac McCarthy book. We'll put that one there. And then we got, of course, these two books, Stella Maris and The Passenger. Uh, I did read these, so I did read these books in um, December. I bought these in December, read them in December, and I left reviews for both books, The Passenger and Stella Maris. So that wraps up my Cormac McCarthy collection. So now I have, in total, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Cormac McCarthy books right here. Plus I have The Road on my shelf elsewhere. So that's eight Cormac McCarthy books that I now own. Let's get to this one. This is an exciting one. This is a new, the brand new Robert McCammon book. And this is this is just cool. I mean, I love this series. The, it's called King of Shadows. And this is the uh, Matthew... Um, yeah, what was the guy's last name? Matthew uh, Corbett. Yeah, Matthew Corbett. The Matthew Corbett Mystery Series set back in the Revolutionary War times in early America. Actually, I think it was pre-Revolutionary War. Let's see, what year is this set in? God, it doesn't say. I think it said here in the opening, 1704. Yeah, that's quite pre-Revolutionary War. So, you know, it's Robert McCammon. You know, he's one of my top five favorite authors. So we've got that. We'll put it up here. Okay, now let's get to some of the really, really, really fucking awesome stuff starting with i've become obsessed with these marvel omnibus editions of graphic comic book i don't know whether they're graphic novels comic books i don't know what i've never been a comic book person people until i about a year or two ago i got one of these omnibuses from marbles at marbles i don't think it's marbles i think it's marvel but it was and now i'm starting to collect all of them i think I've, i think this is the ninth one i've bought but they're just beautiful. They're just absolutely beautiful books. And they smell good, too. But this one is uh, War of the Bounty Hunters. A big omnibus edition of Marvel comic stuff. That one is going to be fun to read. Okay, now you know I collect a lot of different versions of Lord of the Rings books. So I got this $250 Although on Amazon was selling it for about 90 bucks, and I'd made a whole video just about this book alone. But this is just a beautiful collector's edition of The Lord of the Rings. And so it's probably my seventh or eighth really nice collector's editions of Lord of the Rings that I bought. So just absolutely wonderful. I'm excited about this one. It's just beautiful in every way. We'll put that one there. And then we're not done with the Lord of the Rings stuff. I also got the new collector's edition of the Silmarillion, which has a lot of extra features and coolnesses to it, like the green uh, end papers and some maps and a few things. A lot I've, I've seen a lot of you buying this, and so I thought I would get it too. And then we have the, um, the collector's edition of the Unfinished Tales with the great Alan Lee cover. So I like that. Oh, that's that's oh, look at the backside, man. That's dope. 
So we've got that, and it's got all the wonderful maps. So there's that one. And then I also got this other collector's edition of The Nature of Middle Earth, which comes with another great Alan Lee illustration. And it just looks like I don't know what this is even about. But I thought it would look cool in my Lord of the Rings J.R.R. Tolkien collection of books. I'm going to throw all the Tolkien stuff up here. So we have room down here. So now we're getting down to even some of the even cooler stuff I got. So now these four books, this completes my entire Robert Heinlein collection. With these four books, I now have every Robert Heinlein book in mass market paperback. Every novel he's written in mass market paperback in mint condition. And I'm so excited now. So we've got Farmer in the Sky. We've got um, The Rolling Stones. We've got... Uh, Tunnel in the Sky. So we got Farmer in the Sky, Tunnel in the Sky, and Glory Road. So that completes my entire... So now I've got every Robert Heinlein novel in mint condition paperback. I'm proud of that. What else have we got? Oh, yes. How can we... I mean, Ashes of Man by Christopher Rocchio. This is book number five in his uh, Death Eater. No, it's not Death Eater. Sun Eater. What is it? Yeah, the Sun Eater. Book five in his Sun Eater. Now, I did read this one in December, and I did leave a review of this. So this is uh, just one of my favorite. Probably this Christopher Rocchio. Not only is he a good friend of mine, but he's... um. Probably one of my top five favorite science fiction authors all time at this point. Just with this series he's written. It's just so good. Let's put that one there. I Oh, I also got the new Michael Moorcock novel. The brand new Michael Moorcock Elric novel. Hey, he hasn't written an Elric novel in like 40 years. And now he came out with a new one. It's called The Citadel of Forgotten Myths. And I did, I got an arc of this back in the summertime. And so I read it quite a while ago and left a review quite a while ago. But still, you can still find the review by typing my name in and the title of the book. And the review will show up. So we got that. We've got Wayward by Chuck Wendig. I did read a horror novel by Chuck Wendig not long ago, and I really liked it. So he had two other horror novels that I needed to get, and uh, this one just came out in December. So now this is the third Chuck Wendig novel that I've got. Um, the other one was called The Wanderers, and, it, and this is the sequel. I think it was The Wanderers. Let me see. This is the one. I have not read this one. So I read his other horror novel, which is called Accidents of something. Book of Accidents. Yeah, the Book of Accidents I read. This one I have not read, and it's The Wanderers. This is book one. This is book two, Wayward. And so I will start reading these sometime. But this is the one I bought in December. So we've got that. And then two more great, great, great books. These, these are I'm really excited about. So they came out with this dope-looking collector's edition of Snow Crash by Neil Stevenson. And so I got that. So then, now I now I needed to get, because then the only other book, because I've got every single book of Neil Stevenson's in hardcover, except for these two, Snow Crash and Diamond Age. So I had Diamond Age and Snow Crash I did not have in hardcover. Well, we can throw toss this one out now, because um, I just bought a hardcover of Snow Crash. So now I replaced the paperback with a hardcover. So now I've got the entire series except for Diamond Age. So I had to get a first edition hardcover of Diamond Age. So now we can toss aside these two paperbacks and replace them with these two hardcovers. And now I've got hardcover copies of all the Neil Stevenson novels, which is cool. And that, my friends, 
is my book haul for the month of December 2022. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 22, 23, 24, 25 legitimate purchases, one fucked up purchase, and um, so that's 26 total. And um, so that's, I guess that's all I got to say about that. 